Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, you're looking at the face of someone who was very, very happy, and I finally got to see Thorn on the, well, not 50 inch TV screen, but I waited so long to see this character in live action, let's go for him now. 100%. Back to Zepho. But what, what, what is that thing saying? I don't know why people have droids. Tell that to him. He can understand. See, think about the wrong. He can? He's very calculating. Look, I, I didn't mean anything by it. Can be perceived as cold. Droids but just freak me out. Sure what he doesn't? Tell him you sound like an imp. They deactivate the lights just because they can. That makes him one of us. us. Huh. And that's really tough break. He is. I take he it was back. A You're all right, buddy. Work, but he's not really a violent villain. He uses his enemies. So now, kid, it's time to land. To give him an end over. Good luck. So any showdown we get with Ahsoka and Thrawn, hopefully, we can not cross paths with Thrawn. So it's a good opportunity if it doesn't happen. But the showdown we're going to get is more along the lines of Luke versus the Emperor and Return of the Jedi. No physical fight, just a battle of wits. Which should be interesting. This is why I think that Luke will be a very character for that type of showdown. But we haven't really cast an actor for that, I guess. So keep my thing crossed and make an appearance down the line. But I'm not a hurt my breath. I'm just going to be still in the box. This episode. So they what they arrive in some unknown galaxy or something that she didn't know yet. As you can take them to the pool of the rebels. Yeah, I don't know. And counter some more night system to kind of shock them. But they're all wiped out. <laughs> Didn't they say all the nice sort of wiped out or something? Something like, do they have all the covens around the galaxy or something? Because they don't really line up, at least history explaining this. Well, shit, it's just as it went. I don't know if that means that these people whose witches are more powerful than they were hiding, but. It's still cool to see them. I'm just like, huh. I recognized them immediately by the uh, outfits they were wearing and I had no system. But I thought they were like that. So I guess not. <laughs> I guess him I could see doing that 
uh, the freaking Emperor coming back out of nowhere, assembling a big ass space armada out of thin air is stupid. For Thawne, I believe it, because he's that type of character. Yeah. Do you know? Found the target! On it! I'll get all the rewards for this. Okay. Well, he didn't exactly tell us that the advisor was alive. He knew exactly where he was. He Shouldn't wanted to use it to his advantage. My daughter, she'll find him and then we could destroy them both. <laughs> but you can see the little, the little smirk on his face too. I'm like, oh, snap. <laughs> Fantastic, I agree. Fantastic. Oh. I need to throw a few now, that's all I do. Is it just me? Or is there something else going on? Oh, that's a good idea. I <laughs> mean, again, it's, it's rare for Mandalorians to have that type of to aptitude in the force. They, uh, maybe once in a while I have to the public, but there's no way to the force. Thanks. She seems to have a natural ability for fighting. As Mandalorians are warriors, so. It makes sense how she can use a lightsaber, but it doesn't make her good. Just tell me that. Crap. You can't run from us! Yeah, she'll get there. So we also get a. Uh, Ezra reveal. I thought it was she was hallucinating for a second there. She runs into these natives on the planet. Little turtle looking things. And uh, they lead her to their little village and uh, that's where she runs into Ezra. Space Aladdin. Uh, an intruder! Yeah, looks like he's my kid. Uh, uh, Everything about him, now that he walks, always 
There's so many missed opportunities that we'll never get now. You will never get home to lie on screen together. Or land out while well along with them. Door? Meet PD. Perfect, buddy. And I have this book here. Do not concern yourself with a missing artifact. I'll deal with it personally. Just see on the front cover, Vader right alongside Thrawn here. Timothy Zahn, I'm sure Timothy Zahn, Timothy Zahn had a, a hand in the writing for this episode. But it's technically his first character, so. Joe's always a little strange. I feel like it belongs in a different show. Looking back on it, the world with Team Wars was not really explained well enough for this show. For the cartoon, do whatever. In the expanding universe, there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens. It does make any sense that we're never working. Live action. Most of the years, books, comics, games. And the Throne Trilogy, Earth on Fire, Dark Force Riding, and The Last Command. They launched the EU back in the 90s. And this is the first time. I have seen Thrawn live action, and I got freaking goosebumps. <laughs> I've waited so long to see this character in live action. So we may not twenty seven years. Enemy, enemy here. The reason we need folks is out of here. Stop it. Get to the room. Get to the room now. I know that folks are published along our style now, but by the time I discovered it, it was like probably got to be the nineties. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm going to make my Star Wars film. I think you're kind of trusting now. You freaking nail Thrawn. Gotta go ahead and come back. 
This guy knows what he's doing. I know this is tough. I trust him by Got my Captain Rex for a little bit and then flashback. I kinda want a live action Clone War series now. <laughs> I'm watching you. I'll break your guard. Like, oh, she'll find them, but I would destroy them both. <laughs> you, you can see a little smirk on his face, too. I'm like, oh my goodness. Exactly what he's talking about. Uh, you don't have to be familiar with the books to know what Toronto Dorm was back in the day. And I'm gonna assume most people watching the show only know what he's talking about. The cartoon. I know Thrawn from back in the day. Here's the Empire Trilogy. Doesn't make that many other appearances in those books back then. So this is the first time we've been on my back. And it looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> There's not that much to do with his eyes, blue and red eyes. It's about it. But like the way he talks, everything about it is very good. So it was very essential that we got right. Uh, really? Probably the best thing I've seen since the movie. And then the Mandalorian. That match really good. Uh, Alright, I'm It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. You know what I'm saying? That Luke would be a much better match for him. That's 
far as going as a battle of wits, I would say. I mean, curious how they do with Ahsoka. Though I would, I would prefer Luke to be the one clashing with Thrawn. At least as a nod to the original poems. Well, let's see what happens. I'm excited. Oh yeah. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> and he said all of that in a couple of seconds. Like, oh, she'll find it. And then we're going to destroy both of them. <laughs> a little bit of an emperor in there. A little bit. He's way more calm and collective than the emperor in the place. He doesn't have a few of them, perhaps. <laughs> Two Death Stars within ten years. So at first I thought those were the uh, first Asian troops over here from Disney Wars. I'm like, um, but uh, look at him. He assembled some uh, classic stormtroopers. I'm like, oh, sure. Goodness. An Imperial officer was trying to hide a relic down here. It was a cave-in. She became trapped and never escaped. Get me wrong, he is a villain, but he's not like the Emperor did everything he needed to acquire more power. Death Star was a representation of his ego, Vader representing his power because he was controlling him to his rage, and that's how he spread fears of the galaxy because dark figure, dark shadowy figure. It was blind rage. <laughs> I can't remember if Vader and Thor had any interactions in uh, the EU. I you know there have been more books since then. I haven't really read them. I tried to stay away from them. I just prefer the stuff that was already here. I don't need 
my character like Star Killer to be brought into the Disney World universe. He doesn't really resent, but yeah, just leave the characters like him like that. I don't need him to be watered down in Disney World universe. <laughs> but like, even when Sabine was standing like face to face with Thrawn, she just being Sabine, she doesn't care. <laughs> She just doesn't care. <laughs> nice to look at her. Hmm. Oh my, where the heck is her helmet? She's been shot at and stuff. I'm like, how is. Where's her helmet? I don't know about, about a helmet. <laughs> She's getting shot left and right. I'm like, dude, where's your bloody helmet? So being yeah, still a fine ass guy, so fine that. <laughs> find some way to reach this new wars. smart them and all that stuff like that. Yeah. 
Somewhere to the Come on and fight him! Flying on the red. Oh, the red was after that. After the thing that I thought was the new hero. The fall of the Emperor and Vader. So it's kind of similar to that. They're in a different galaxy, I guess, now. But... Oh, no, the only difference is it looks the same to me. But. Because <laughs> in the Disney Wars, you barely see any other freaking planets. It was Tatooine or Curse on or some shit. So, like, what's the only difference? I don't have any planet I don't know what planet it is. out on the stars for into the landing bay like a freaking boss. Oh my gosh shit, Thorn is here. It's about to go down man. It's about to go down. So I just don't expect no like flashy battles or nothing. But Thrawn will we will always find a way to get out of spot again. So I want to know about Ahsoka's background or history to manipulate her. Probably in ways you never would have thought about.
casual. Huh. See, I thought in cartoon they were like on anti or or some shit. I don't know. Huh. There was a little bit of tension there. Huh. Yeah. Turn all the way for a, a friend, right? Okay. <laughs> Definitely crushing on him because he isn't, then she will. Damn, she's definitely crushing. No girl goes all the way out there for a freaking friend. <laughs> you know, this thing is not time to fix. Now I can see why Ahsoka is like, you know, destroy that man. It's not worth it having thought on that. You know, I kind of need Luke to be uh, at least have an appearance. Maybe in Thelonious film, I don't know, but then probably still a couple years out. It kind of gets me excited because yeah, Thrawn is like, <laughs> Thrawn is a freaking badass man. Yes, he is. Now you're typical, I want to take a look at that type of thing. But there's a reason that uh, Thrawn is going to be some kind of thing. It's because he's wrong. <laughs> There's some wacky stuff in the but Thrawn is definitely one of the best things coming out of this game in the rush, back in the day. This is a waste of time. What is Crane playing at? Impossible that anything useful is in here. First kind of animation was pretty good, but I've actually worked out. You got as far as like villains, you got the Emperor, you got Vader, and you got Thrawn right below Vader. 
as far as medicine. He can be a medicine without ever firing a blast. You know what I'm saying? Like, going to the freaking boss. Let's see how excited Mori has with Godward. <laughs> Exactly where Ezra was. He knew he was on the planet. He was like, hey, we can just have her look for a guy and then we can just go over here. sarcastic is. It's funny. I think this series is it's got a little bit of up and down, most shows do. There really aren't any filler episodes in this season. I think everything that's been shown has added layers to the overall story. There's more than one can say for Disney Wars. But nothing in that this stupid always matter at all. <laughs> Share your thoughts down below. Like the video, subscribe, share the video. Plenty of content on the way. And October is going to be packed. Assassin's Creed Mirage, Spider Man 2, Alan Wake 2. The Life Lies of P is already out. There's a couple other games that I have that are probably going to be a while. I'm just not really into spending. Seventy dollars on games these days. I just, I'd much rather conserve what I have. <laughs> Maybe Black Friday, I'll just get a punch on the store that I don't know. It's not like I'm putting it down, but it's not that far away, honestly. <laughs> Until next time.